Hi guys, welcome to the Charlotte the Bubbles in the USA. I'm welcoming you this evening to tell you how far we have gone. My name is Nganga Francis. I'm welcoming you back to the Charlotte the Bubbles. Today I decided to say hi in English so that you guys can understand that even sometimes I can be able to speak English. So many people they are complaining that Francis or Nganga cannot be able to speak in English. What I don't like, I don't like speaking in English because even if you speak a, a million word of English and you don't have money, you are just a useless guy. So welcome to the Shelly the Bubbles. My name is Nganga. I want to tell you what I usually do. I usually rehab the old houses so that I make a living with them. And so far, so good, I can say I can be able to say that I have seen how the good and hard labor can benefit. This is the house I'm doing really hard, that I'm doing renovation. This house was built allowed 1890. For those people who usually watch the Quemenya America, you can look at that video and you see how that house was was before I started doing renovation. So to, tonight I'm going to tell you all the process that I have gone with this house this is a rehab house that was built allowed 1890 so this house you are seeing here is probably hundred and something years i'm located in the united states of america in wichita kansas this is a, in a rural area these are the unique houses that not so many people have seen these houses because most of them were being stayed by the people of a hundred years back. So I want to tell you the process so that you can be able to know the process of how if you live in America and you don't have a own a house, you can be able to purchase a very simple house, you work on it, and you live in it. Example, this house you are seeing here, I didn't buy a lot of money, I just buy it at 4,500. Yes, at the back, there was full of junk. This house was full of junk, but because I'm a junk remover, I usually do junk removal and demolition. I've done a lot to this house, and so far I have removed so many windows. I've refurbished the flooring, and this house is almost, almost, almost to be done. And guys, I'm telling you, if I want to sell this house, I can sell it from from. 70,000 to 100,000 US dollars because I'm going to work on it. As you can see on it, on the one of the side, I've replaced, these are five good widows. All of them, they are new. I'm continue working on them so that I can tell people it is possible. Even if you come to America, do not go back to school. There are so much you can do and you can be able to prosper. Do you know the main thing for a man is to have money, not even to have so many degrees because I have met so many people in America who have so many even, who have even have masters and they are poor, they are still poor because the education does not mean everything. You must have a brain so that you can be able to continue. So guys, I'm requesting you to continue subscribing to the charity, the bubbles, the USA, so that you can know the process. Because so many people in America, they live in rental houses. And I usually tell so many people to live in a rental houses in America is the same as to being drinking beer. Because even if you drink beer in a certain pub, then you go to the following day, you tell them you drink here yesterday, they cannot listen to you. They will see this is just a bullshit stories you are telling us. The same case to the same case applies to then rental houses. If you rent a house, even if you stay there for that rental apartment for over ten years, at the end of the day, that house does not belong to you. And if anything happens, these people they are going to tell you pack and go, and probably they are going to put your stuff to the junkyard. That's why I usually encourage people, when you come to America, know where you can settle. Because you can go to the big cities. I don't disagree with that. But to live in the big cities, sometimes to buy a house, like for now in California, the cheapest house you can get is from 
400,000 US dollars. And most people who have come from back home, they cannot qualify for such a loan because they don't have a good credit. Even if they have a good credit, the job they are doing, it cannot be able to maintain or it cannot be able to support the mortgage. Because for example, like for a house, you have the cheapest for 400. The cheapest mortgage you can pay is probably 3,000 to 4,000 a month. And when they do their own calculation, they are going to find that the money you are earning is not equivalent or is not able because you have the calm loan, you have so much, and the money you are earning in a month, probably it cannot add up over 5,000. So the bank is not going to qualify you. Even if you, you have good education, even if you are nurse, even if you are what, they are not going to finance you to buy that house. And that's why so many people who live in a very big estate, like California, New York, Seattle, San Diego, Texas, to buy a house is a hassle. And you might find that even if you buy a house, whatever you are paying in a month, it's not equivalent, it's not worth it. So me, I decided to come to the rural areas in the Wichita, Kansas. The life is moderate, it's not expensive, it's not cheap, but there's so much you can do of which is capable because this is not a big town. So why I decided to be doing the renovation to the old houses because I see like when I flip a house, I make good money. Or if I keep it, I, go, I get good rentals. So I decided, I tell my wife, I'm, not, I'm no longer going to be employed. Because even if you do the caregiver job, you do whatever, these people, they don't appreciate. So I decided to employ myself. And I told my wife, from now henceforth, I'm done being employed. And since that time, it's almost six years, I've never been employed. And I'm so far, so so, so far, so good. I can say I've seen God. I've seen everything is workable. Even if I didn't go do back to school, I make a good living. I'm going to take you a small tour so that you see how these houses look like. That's why I decided to do the innovation for these houses. And I know at the end of the day, this house will be, is going to get to be lented of us 800 US dollars because I'm going to put new kitchen sink i'm going to put the whole kitchen i'm going to do the whole renovation in the kitchen i'm going to do the whole innovation in the bathroom i've already done the flooring what is remaining is just finishing uh, for now i'm just doing the windows you can see you can see i've started doing the siding so that i can improve the standard of the living in america so i'm going to take you for a short tour and I told you guys continue subscribing to this channel. It is called the Charity the Bubbles, the USA. It is being hosted by my dear wife, Charity. And you can also check for those people who can be able to hear the, our mother language. I usually elaborate so well in Kikuyu. It is called Kwemenya America. You can also go there and subscribe so that you can be able to be knowing some of this stuff. The main reason I decided to be talking to Kikuyu so that people, I want people to buy their own houses when they come to America. It is so sad to live in America and you still live in an apartment. It's so sad. It's so sad. So guys, I'm requesting you guys continue subscribing. Do you know to own a house in America is a benefit because if you want to sell that house, you are going to get some money. That's why you see so, so many people, they don't have anything, and they leave their children with nothing. So I'm going to take you for a short tour, so that you can see. I'm going to camera. This is the house I'm talking about. You can see how it looks like. It's a big house. It's a three-bedroom house. It has a very big backyard. If I'm, I'm a farmer... I can keep some chicken here. You you guys, you know, I usually keep some chicken here. I can do farming. But um, in America, I don't like farming because it takes a lot of time. You can see, this is where I usually burn some stuff. Like, I don't like it. Instead, like, nobody can ask me this. It's in a rural area. 
now you can see the houses I'm working on guys when you come to America just buy a house and you try to know me I can help people to own a house because owning a house is a benefit to you so guys I'm requesting you continue subscribing to the charity the bubbles so that you can be able to know so many things you can see the windows I'm putting the new windows you can see the wall the siding is new and so far so good I want this is my truck for doing my job this is also the other side I told you guys this house was built allowed 1890 so it's an old house I'm working on it and by the end of the day this house is going to be a lento apartment all I all I frame it because that's what I usually do I'm just going to take you a, sh a quick 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 because I want to go home so that you can see the way forward you can see guys I have replaced the windows this is the front side and at the end of the day this house is going to look good and guys continue subscribing to the charity the bubbles is being directed by my dear wife charity and so far she have done a good job this is the main house that is the video i was replacing the flooring is not clean because i'm still working on it i'm still working and I, there are so many tools i have kept there this is kind of living room you can see these are the kind of the wood we usually use in america most 90 percent of the houses or 98 percent of the houses in america they are built with wood and shipboard like in kenya there was a, somebody who was learning like a, and they be, they do their construction of a house for that guy with this kind of the shipboard so if this house was built in 1890 and it's to survive guys i'm telling you it is possible when you come to america just buy a house even if it's an old house, you can refurbish. You can do so much. You, like this one, you can remove the windows. You put the car, the, the modern windows. Uh, when I'm done, I'll show you guys because I'm going to put other things on top of this old, 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 not flooring, it's the whatever, the wall. I'm going to put a new wall. You can see I'm going to put the insulation there. So that the house look nice. These are the kitchen. Another person asked me, Francis, because you are doing some demolition in other houses. You trash everything? No. Some of these kitchens, like the, all these kitchens, this is a bathtub, the whole bathtub. This is the whole kitchen. That is the side of the bathtub. This is the kitchen. So all these kitchen cabinets, I'm going to put them. This is a kitchen for this house. I'm going to demolish all these kitchen, the, the cabinet, everything. And I'm going to put a new one. Because like I like doing good stuff because I have everything installed. I have all the cabinets. Everything is there. So I'm going to remove all these old kitchen, the cabinets. All this old sink, I'm going to remove it. I put another one. You can see this house is working. You can see it's have a fridge. The fridge is in good order. It's working. The problem is like it's dirty, but I'm going to put a new key, a new fridge. This is an oven. It's working. But I'm going to replace it so that I put a modern one. Uh, this house has everything because this house has electric. I've put electricity back. You know, people might say that these houses, they don't have electricity. That is electricity for this house. I've replaced that window. I'm going to continue removing that window, old one, and I put a new one. So that even if somebody is going to lend these houses, I'm not, I'm not going to feel ashamed. Because I've, I've done everything that is supposed to be done to the houses. I'm going to show you the bathroom. The bathroom is not yet done because 
I've not yet finished with that because I'm still working on the flooring. You can see the flooring. I'm going to remove all this old wood. It was built from 1880. I'm going to rebuild it again because this is my profession. Working is my hobby. Being a worker is a hobby. Construction is my hobby, guys. This is one of the bedrooms in the basement. You can see I have replaced that window. You can see I have replaced the other one. I think this light is working. Wow, everything is working. But everything I'm going to put a new stuff. Because I like when people are renting my houses, everything is in good condition. I'm going to put a new door. Everything will be working well. I'll put the carpet when I'm done with it. It was a bad house. That's why it was sold at the 4,000 US dollars. I'm going to take you to the to the upstairs. These are the stairs. The old houses, they don't have big stairs. They have the small one. Because the stairs in old days, it is only the masters who are supposed to go to the upstairs. The slaves, they were supposed to stay in the kitchen. And that's why there are so many big kitchen in a big American houses. This is like, it was like a master bedroom. You can see this is so big, it's so big a loom. It's a big loom. You can see I have repressed these two windows. That is the closet. So it's a good house. When you come to America, please don't be living in apartment for the rest of your life. No, it's not good. Ask Francis, what, where can I start? I'm going to direct you. This is another bedroom. It's nice. It's workable. And it is in good condition. And everything is working. So guys, I'm requesting you, with a humble request, everything is possible. I can tell you guys, everything is possible. If you trust in God, you trust in yourself, you can be able to achieve it. Guys, continue subscribing to the Charity the Bubbles. For those who can be able to listen in Kikuyu, they can go to the Kwemenya America. You can be able to listen in our own language. And if, if you guys you have a question, you, you can write to me, you can write to my dear wife. We are going to help you how you can get a house in America. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. My name is Nganga Francis. I'm the charity's husband. I they really working together because when I know when we work as a family, when we work as a couples, everything is doable. And you can achieve if you work hard and if you work in combined effort. I don't undermine my wife because she can she can contribute something and she can do anything as I can do. Guys, I'm going to show you another thing I was almost to forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was almost to forget to show you the storage. This house, the old houses, they are big. Oh, my goodness. I was almost to forget. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how can I forget the piano? Oh, oh, oh. If I forget about it, this is a piano. This model of a piano... It's an old piano. It's antique. Even most people in most church in America, they usually use this kind of the piano. It, most of them were built from 1900 to 1920. It's working. If you're in America and you need a piano, let me know. It's working. trash most most of the this stuff these pianos I don't know whether it's the piano or the keyboard I usually trash them because even if I, I take home my kids they don't like playing with it it's a good one if you need a piano and you are in America be ready to tell Charlotte to let me know and it's a good one and if you need some quarters there are so many quarters here you can let me know. I can send you some quarters. 
so that you can be able to feel like you are living in America. This is a big storage. I'm going to separate it so that I can make an extra coin with it so that uh, even if I rebuild it again, I'm going to lend this storage to a different person. There are two storage. That is one. It's big. It's almost 17 by 17 square mm. square feet. So it's a big one. Guys, into the charity, the bubbles. That is one of the storage. I, guys, I tell you, I am not scared. I can show you how you can invest in America. You can know. I can show you how you can do stuff. You can flip houses. So that you can be able to live in your own house without be lending your other people's house. I usually tell people to lend a house is almost the same as drinking beer. So if you live in an apartment, be telling people you also drink because it's the same thing. This is another storage. You can see how big it is. Even this one I'm going to rebuild it again. Like to do the final touches so that I rebuild it. I finish it, then I separate it. It's almost the, the same as the other one. It's almost 17 by 17. So that I, at least if I separate it, I'm going to make it as a storage unit and I'm going to rent to the other people. Guys, continue subscribing to the charity, The Bubbles. Yes, I have a dust because I usually do work in construction site. And I'm happy for it. Woo-hoo!